what's up guys today we're going to be making a coconut oil soap with rose and lavender so what you will need is some melted coconut oil if you get the 54 ounce jar like I have right here we're going to use the whole thing so you're not even going to have to measure it out you're going to need some molds some plastic containers or buckets these molds I get from Amazon I have a cheap ladle right here if you like these I'll leave a link below an immersion blender some lye. You can use soap maker's lye or you can use a drain cleaner as long as it specifies it is 100% lye with nothing else in it. That works too. I get this one at Lowe's and it has not failed me yet. Just a note I wanted to make about the immersion blender. I have two separate ones for soap making and for food. You don't want to have the same immersion blender used for both. 20.92 ounces of distilled water. I have already measured it out in this picture right here. Some dried rosebuds. These I also got off Amazon. Some dried lavender. This is culinary grade lavender. I don't know if it makes a difference, but it's what I'm using today. We're gonna need some essential oil. I'm using lavender for the lavender portion, about 25 drops, and rose absolute for the rose portion. Again, about 25 to 30 drops on that one. A kitchen scale to measure out the lye. And safety first, guys, I have gloves here, goggles, and a mask. So let's get started. Now that we have everything, again, safety first, I'm gonna put my gloves on here, put my mask and my goggles on. Also, what you should have on standby is some white vinegar, just in case you do end up spilling the light on yourself. It's gonna neutralize it because it's gonna burn pretty bad if you do. So have that on hand. Other than that, now we're good to start. You're gonna take one of the plastic containers this is the one that I have here, and you're just gonna pour your distilled water into it. Now we're just gonna go ahead and measure out our lye. So take your plastic bowl, this is the one that I have specifically for lye, and zero out your scale. You're gonna need to measure out 8.96 ounces. Once that hits 8.9, you're good to go on the lye. So put that aside. You can put your kitchen scale to the side and grab your ladle. You're gonna add your lye to the water. Never, ever, 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 ever add your water to the lye. Okay, always lie to water, lie to water, lie to water, okay? And you're just gonna slowly pour that in while mixing with your ladle. When you're mixing, you're gonna notice it's gonna get really, really hot and it's gonna release some fumes. That's why you want the mask on. Lye is really caustic, you guys. It's gonna hurt if you breathe it in. Trust me, I have done it before. And just as a safety note, the reason you never add water to lye is because it's just gonna be a huge explosion in your face. You're gonna get hurt. Your soap isn't gonna turn into soap. It's just, it's not a good thing. Just don't do it. So now that we have that cooled down, we're gonna take our other plastic container and we're gonna pour out the entire jar of melted coconut oil into it. Now, I let my lye cool down for about 30, 35 minutes and I don't measure the temperature, I just have them in the same range, but you want your lye and water mixture to be between 90 and 120 degrees, same with your oil. What you're gonna do is you're slowly gonna pour your lye water mixture into the oil while mixing with your blender. Don't turn it on yet, just kinda slowly mix and once it's incorporated, then you can mix on high. And you're gonna keep mixing this until you reach a light to medium trace. And that consistency is gonna be more like a light pudding, not like a thick pudding, like a thick heavy traces. And the reason you wanna do that is we're gonna be still working with this base as it's stiffening up and hardening up into the soap and it just gives you a lot more time and it's easier to pour it into the molds when it's thinner. So that's just the reason you don't want it too thick note that this soap is super fatted by 10% unlike you usually super fat by 5 but it just makes it thicker more luxurious and more moist all right as you can see right there it's still pretty runny just like a really light light pudding that's the perfect consistency and that's what you're looking for so I'm gonna go ahead and just struggle with my immersion blender a little bit and put it to the side 
I went ahead and separated the soap in half. So I just put one half in one container and one half in the other. This is going to be the rose portion with the dried rose buds and the rose absolute oil. And this one is going to be the lavender one with the dried lavender and lavender essential oil. And then just make sure you have two separate utensils that you use for each one. Adding the dried rosebuds and the dried lavender is absolutely optional. It really doesn't contribute anything to the smell. I just like to add it because I think it adds an exfoliant into the soap, which is pretty nice, at least in my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle some rosebuds into the soap base and then add the 25 drops of rose absolute oil. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the lavender. Just pour the lavender in there and then put about 25 drops of the lavender essential oil and mix that up. There's not really a measurement for how many rosebuds or how much lavender you want. It's really just up to you. I don't like it too busy, but dealer's choice. Now we're gonna get our molds and you're just gonna pour your soap base into the molds. As you can see, it got a lot thicker since it originally got to trace. So you don't wanna get it much thicker at all because it's gonna be harder to work with. And just keep trying to pack it in as best as you can and make sure it's nice and flat and condensed in there because that's what's going to give you a really good shape in the mold. Ideally, you want to just kind of keep it in the mold separately, but I make a mess everywhere I go, so it's okay. Just have fun with it. You're fine. I went ahead and got some more molds since I still have some soap base left and I'm just going to do the same thing that I was doing. Also feel free to just sprinkle some of those dried rosebuds or that dried lavender into the mold itself. I've done that before. It ends up looking really pretty and it also adds some more exfoliation so just have fun with it. Judgment free zone. Alright and once you're finishing that up, when you're done you're just going to cover them with cardboard and a towel and let them sit for 24 hours and then cure for 4-6 to six weeks. But that's it guys, you're, you're done. Thanks for watching, let me know how you liked it, if you tried it, and if it worked. Uh, make sure you check out our other videos, subscribe, and I will see you next time.